Good day. Today's lecture will be on using a multimeter to measure direct current voltage. There are four things that need to be done in order to do this. One, read the output voltage of the atom to be tested. Two, select appropriate scale on the meter. Three, place the meter probes on the correct contacts and four, read the voltage. What we're doing right now will be the first one, read the output voltage of the item to be tested. The two voltages out should be 12 volt and 5 volts. Also on the meter is a diagram of the pin connections down here which we will be testing shortly. So there they are. The next thing we need to do is check the appropriate scale on the meter. On the top left of the meter here is a scale that is slightly either exceeds or meets the voltage for the item that we're considering testing. The third thing we need to do is to place the contacts of the probes on the correct probe points here. The two center ones are the ground and the black probe is the ground or for common. We'll place that here. On the left side, by our chart before, it said that we we're going to have 12 volts on this side here. If you can see the reading on the right on the meter it says 11.99 which is very close to 12 volts but it's not 12 volts. We'll reconnect the pins on the other side and this one should be the 5 volts and it's reading 5.23 which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. So we've got one set of voltages on here that are correct, the 5 volt side, but the 12 volt side is falling a little short. It's 11.98 to 99. So that basically fails the test. This is how you measure direct current voltage using a multimeter. Remember, you read the output voltage of the item to be tested from the device you're testing it on. You select the appropriate scale on the meter. You put the probes in the correct contact points. And then you read the scale. That's the end of it. Thank you so much.